Hello, this is a short video about the Black Swan by Nassim Taleb. This would be an excellent book to read if you're interested in economics, in world events, history. I would also say it's an excellent book to read um, for anyone, really, because it's extremely erudite. It gives you a different way of viewing the world, um, one that accounts for the improbable. What is a Black Swan? Before the discovery of Australia, people believed that all swans uh, were white and it took the discovery of uh, just one black swan to completely uh, demolish uh, the belief that all swans are white. Um, he talks about how the real world um, is shaped uh, by extremely improbable events and randomness and that academia generally so-called experts he spends much of the book uh, criticizing so-called experts in that they don't properly account for chaos so economists uh, make models and base predictions on plausible um, and on things which are likely but they don't consider what uh, Nassim uh, refers to as tail events so Black Monday was such an example. Uh, Nassim Taleb was an options trader back in the late 1980s. And uh, on that particular day, the US stock market dropped something like 22%. The probability of that, according to models, was something like one in a billion. But it happened and many people went bankrupt. Similarly, uh, the First World War, before it happened, um, nobody anticipated or foresaw that the sequence of events which precipitated into the First World War and then perhaps the Great Depression, the Second World War and the Cold War, all of these things. Uh, we ascribe causality after the fact, but there's a lot of randomness um, in the system uh, which we simply don't see. The reasons why we don't see them is we are prone to confirmation bias. So going back to the idea of the white swan, if you look around at this lake, you'll see many white swans. And this will confirm, each sighting of a white swan will confirm the belief that all swans are white. Uh, but this isn't necessarily the case, it's just a, a single black swan, which will completely shatter that belief, hasn't been spotted. We're also uh, vulnerable to uh, narrative fallacy, and that is our proclivity to, uh, to see things in terms of stories and therefore anything which doesn't fit our prejudices, um, our presumptions, and the way we have been brought up to see the world, we simply don't um, properly account for. We discount uh, things which don't fit um, our understanding of the world, and that also makes us vulnerable to uh, the black swan. Um, so it does open your eyes. He goes into statistics quite a lot. It's not just, um, you know, a qualitative theory. He talks about mediocristan and extremistan. And things such as height, uh, um, the way we measure heights, if you were to uh, take a random sample of 100 people in the UK and calculate the average height, that average height, the mean, isn't going to be affected if you were to take the tallest person in the world, add them to that sample, it's not really going to affect the mean in a big way. It'd be a very small difference. But on the other hand, if you're looking at wealth, wealth uh, belongs to uh, extremistan. If you were to take a random sample, 100 people in the UK, and uh, take the average, the mean, wealth, uh, but if you were to add the richest person in the world to that sample, the mean is going to be dramatically impacted. And so um, economic phenomena um, and technological phenomena uh, don't belong to mediocristan. They're a, a different kind of thing. Um, they belong to extremistan. And he talks about the rise of Google, uh, the rise of cryptocurrencies. These things, which nobody predicted before, are having a profound impact on the development of the world. You know, it's like this lake here. Uh, there's many things going on under the surface that we're completely oblivious to. What the same type calls the unknown unknowns. And one of the key takes from this book is to consider what uh, we don't know. You know, he says that we, we know less if we think we know more. In that, um, by knowing things, 
we will we will learn what we don't know. And one of the ways to uh, not be so vulnerable to the black swan is to consider what uh, we don't know and what could happen in the worst case scenario. Um, you know, because there's a lot of chaos in the world. There's many wars taking place at the moment, and um, there are a lot of there are a lot of things going on, um, which um, will have a, a, a big impact on the outcome. Um, so there's chaos chaos all around us. Covid was another example, completely out of the blue. Okay, there was a plan, but that plan was completely just thrown in the bin when uh, Covid happened. And so this book really opens your eyes to all of this, um, and it's very much a well worth read. It's one of the best books I've ever read, and certainly going to read the other five of Taleb's uh, books on similar topics. So thank you for watching, and I will post other videos soon. Thank you.